This is a big story that kind of came in the middle of this massive bookstorm that's happening this week, and it's quite sad. So uh, uh, the Duke of Westminster, who is a long-time childhood friend of both Harry and William's and is understood to be actually Archie, Harry's son, of course, uh, his godfather, he's getting married next June. It's going to be the society wedding of the year. The king and queen are expected to be there. Prince William and Kate are expected to be there. But it's understood that he and his uh, fiance and his family have decided uh, not to invite Harry and Meghan and that he'd actually wanted to, but he realised that things were just so so strained between the family they couldn't put the royals in in a position that they may feel uncomfortable so that's a really sad uh, situation to be in it really just again paints a picture of how far things have fallen for Harry and Meghan you know this is one of his oldest friends and he does just have a few key friends left by many reports so yeah the fact that he's, he's now having to be excluded because it would be so awkward you can imagine for the bride and groom it's a really tough situation it's hard enough when you're not royal or famous or royal adjacent planning a wedding with all the guests you know with this one where are you seating everyone if Harry and Meghan are there so yeah it's a it's a really sad situation but really does just highlight uh, how far out of it now that how far out of the loop that Harry and Meghan are but Harry especially To see his friendship group sort of, you know, crumble like this must be heartbreaking for Harry as well because although he's, you know, launching broadsides at his own family, he's probably still hoping that his mates in the background will always choose him over his brother, but clearly that's not happening at all. He's being ostracised by his own friendship group, which is quite tragic because he obviously doesn't have any real friends probably in America. They're all with him or attracted to him because of the royal connection, but it's um, time for a bit of a rethink on who his mates are and maybe rebonding with his family, although that seems very unlikely at this point. Just when it seemed like they were getting off the radar, back comes Scobie uh, with a series of apparently damning revelations about all the royals apart from the two in Montecito. page 128 it says in those private letters an identity was confirmed Charles well I'm gonna show it to you it is just here later in the book on page 334 it states that Megan and Charles also spoke in their letters about unconscious bias within the family after it was revealed that the King and Princess of Wales participated in such conversations about Archie Rumours are swirling as you'd expect, but author Scobie remains adamant his version of the book never named names. Journalists across Fleet Street know, have known those names for a long time. We've all followed a certain code of conduct. I had never submitted a book that had their names in it. A claim the Dutch translator Saskia Peters appears to reject. 
As a translator, I translate what is in front of me. The names of the royals were there in black and white. I did not add them. I'm going to tell you the names of the two senior royals who are named in that Dutch version of the book. Because frankly, if Dutch people wandering into a bookshop can pick it up and see these names, then you, British people here, who actually pay for the British royal family, you're entitled to know too. I don't believe any racist comments were ever made by any of the royal family. And until there is actual evidence of those comments being made, I will never believe it. The royals who are named in this book are King Charles and Catherine, Princess of Wales.